Hey there, viral fans, TBL here with another great yet terrifying list from It's All Viral. Today, I'll show you some of the most haunted places around the world. Sanatoriums, castles, homes, hotels, we're going to cover it all right here. This is the one-stop shop for all you ghost fanatics out there. Alright, starting off our list at number 6, in Edinburgh, Scotland, there are many rural areas with fantastic sites and structures. One of these includes the Edinburgh Castle. The castle itself was the site of bloody battles and torture during its life in the Iron Age. While here, many staff members and tourists have reported the feelings of being touched and pulled. There have also been sightings of spirits or apparitions of an old man wearing an apron, a piper who had apparently lost his life in the tunnels located under the castle, and a headless drummer boy. All I know is I'd be completely terrified if I was there. Germany already has a pretty shaky history when it comes to World War II. In Hesse, there are the Babenhausen Barracks. The site now serves as a museum where visitors and staff claim they've seen German soldiers in full uniform. It's been reported there that lights turn on and off by themselves and voices are commonly heard coming from the basement. Usually in the middle of the night, German commands can be heard being shouted at an invisible army. Maybe the soldiers who once patrolled the area decided to stick around. In Sweden, there's a village named Borvignet. The most haunted house in the country resides there, which is called the Old Vicarage. The first reported ghostly encounter here was documented in 1927. The house chaplain, Nils Hedelin, lived in the Vicarage. One day when he was headed up to the attic to gather his laundry, he saw something rather strange. He reported seeing his clothes being torn down by an invisible force. Now, there have been many other encounters over the years, including a priest who saw a woman disappear right in front of him. One of the creepiest things that's happened here is that a woman was staying in the guest room but woke up in the middle of the night to see three old women sitting and staring at her. Spooky, right? But on a less scary note, the building is also now a restaurant and a guest house. If you make it through one night there, you'll receive a certificate showing that you survived. If you've seen the movie The Shining, you should know about the events that took place in the Overlook Hotel. That hotel was inspired by the Stanley Hotel in Est Park, Colorado. Even though nothing quite like The Shining took place here, there was a very bad incident. In 1911, there was a gas leak in room 217. Since gasoline and vapor form is odorless and colorless, Elizabeth Wilson didn't realize what would happen. She entered room 217 with a lit candle which set off an explosion that destroyed nearly 10% of the 70,000 square foot hotel. Now unfortunately the explosion cost her her life, but some say they can still see Miss Wilson roaming the halls at night. Coming in at number two are the Waverly Hills Sanatorium in Kentucky. It was a simple two-story building in 1910, but was later reconstructed to be a bit bigger and safer. During the early 20th century, when tuberculosis was at its peak, the sanatorium served as a hospital for patients with the disease. Supposedly, up to 63,000 patients died there. There was supposedly a mistreatment of the patients, as well as some experimental procedures that were apparently performed on them. These procedures included removing the ribs of the patient, inserting a balloon into their lungs, and then pumping it full of air. It was closed down in 1961, but reopened in 1962, and was named the Woodhaven Geriatric Sanitarium. But the redesign didn't seem to help with the unusual experiments. Electroshock therapy was very common and was considered very effective. In 1982, the state closed down the structure forever. And to this day, there are still accounts of running shadows, embodied apparitions, and blood-curdling screams coming from the vacant rooms. It's really not surprising that this is considered the most haunted place in the U.S. Alright, and the number one spot on today's list is Lake Teshuilo, located near Mexico City. This one is more than a little creepy and is home to La Isla de las Munecas, which roughly translates to the Island of the Dolls. In the 1950s, a man by the name of Julian Santan Barrera moved there with his family. Unaware of the area's dark past, he moved there to be a bit of a recluse. Now, the legend of the area says that there were three young girls playing in the water in the 1920s. But tragically, one of the girls is said to have fell and drowned in the water, and now her soul is unable to leave the island, forever cursing it. Julian said that he heard a little girl speaking to him as soon as he moved there, and it told him how she died and how she was trapped. Soon after, Julian started purchasing dolls for the spirit of the girl to play with. Now, eventually, Julian's nephew became worried that the girl wanted Julian to join her in her watery grave. 
And one day, those fears were proven true. As the nephew returned to the island, he found Julian face down in the water, dead. Now, tourists often say that they can still feel and see the doll's eyes following them, and the mutilated dolls whisper to them, most commonly at night. And that's it for today's list. Hopefully you'll still be able to get some sleep tonight after watching this. And be sure to let us know what you think in the comment section below. Also, make sure to check out AdGrow12Official on Twitter. And of course, if you'd like to hear more from me, feel free to check me out right here on YouTube at The Black Link. There'll be links to all that in the description box below. But alright, it's gonna be it for this one, guys. As always, I am The Black Link, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.